All right, I'm going to do a um, little tutorial here on how to use Google Doc and um, Desmos to draw some of your diagrams. Um, so let me op let me share my screen here with you. And I'll open up a Google Doc. And I like Google Doc the best because it um, gives you a bunch of creati creativity, like freedom um, on how to do stuff. So I'm just gonna delete all this out. Okay, and let's say, <clears throat> let's just type a sentence here. Let's say that um, line A, B, and line X, Y are parallel. And let's say that segment AY and segment AY is perpendicular to segment or um, line. Um, a, B, segments A, B, and A, uh, A, B, X, Y, and A, Y are congruent. Okay, so there's a couple sentences and we want to draw a diagram um, that satisfies those sentences. Okay, so I'm going to go up here to insert, and we're going to insert a drawing, a new drawing, um, and it will be kind of hard to, you know, kind of see um, that writing and stuff, but the odds are you're not going to have a Google Doc, or you can open up a couple windows. Okay, so we have um, line A, B, so we're going to click here to line, and the drop down arrow will take you to line. And then we just draw a line. Whoop. We just draw a line. Uh, I like to change my weight to three. And in this case, we need arrows because it did say line AB. All right, so now we need to put some points on that line. So I go to the shapes tab. I'll go down to shapes and we will use the circle. And if I just click, it'll pop a circle up here. I want this circle full black, okay, both of those are black, and then we're just gonna shrink it down to a dot, maybe a little bit bigger than that. Okay, and then we just move it over to the line. And you can use your arrow keys to move it. If you hold down shift while using the arrow keys, um, you can move it slower. Uh, I want to copy and paste that dot over here. So we're going to hit Control C and then Control V. That is a copy and paste shortcut. So we'll get that point over there. And then to label those points, we use this text box right here. So click on that, click in here, and we'll label that A. Shrink this thing up. Okay, so we've got point A there. We're going to copy again, control C, and then control V is paste. And then we will paste this over here to B. Okay, so then I have a line parallel. Um, I believe it was line XY was parallel to this. So I can highlight all of that and I can copy and paste it. So Command C, Command V. And I can move this whole thing at the same time. Okay, and then when you click off, I just need to change this to an X, change this to a Y. We can move it around, move them up here, move them up here. That way they're kind of out of the way. And I need to show parallel here. 
So in order to show parallel, I might have some arrows in here. Um, we can put a triangle here, okay? So we'll put this triangle there. I want it translucent or it could be solid and we'll change the weight to three. So it matches, we're gonna rotate it here. There we go, and we just put it right there. I like to rotate it and get it to match up a little bit better. And then we'll copy and paste that one down there. Okay, and that shows parallel. Those could be solid. They could just be like the little one, two-sided triangle. Um, that doesn't matter, but those show parallel. All right, let's just save and close this. Say I forgot, I forgot what was here. So line AB parallel to line XY, we got that. Okay, segment AY is perpendicular to segment AB. So here's segment AB, and if I were to draw this from here to here to AY, that wouldn't be perpendicular, okay? So I actually need to switch these X and Y points. I'm gonna put a Y right above A. So I'll double click that image and I can change it. So we're just gonna drag this image over here and we'll drag this in, this Y over here. And I need to put perpendicular. So I'm actually gonna move, oh, I wanna move that point. So we'll move this point kind of above it a little bit. Oops. Use my shift key there and I got Y there. Okay, let's put a segment there. So line. And we'll put a line from there to there. All right, we'll make that weight three to match. Whoop. Uh, and then just kind of drag it around. Sometimes it's kind of hard because it wants to snap to points. So you just kind of have to play with it a little bit. Okay. Uh, we'll save and close that one. Oh, perpendicular. Uh, we got to put the little triangle or the little square down there. So shape square and it will be right here. Again, weight is three. I want it transparent. And there it is, but um, I need to just kind of make it look a little bit better, rotate it too much. And line it up. Okay, that doesn't look bad. So we'll keep that. Okay, save and close. Let's see where we're at. So segment AY, which I got AY here is perpendicular to line AB. I got that perpendicular. Uh, segments A, B, X, Y, and A, Y. So A, Y, A, B, and X, Y are congruent. So I need to put congruent on here, which congruent is just a little tick mark. So here, there, and we'll change the weight to three. And here, there, change that weight to three. Oh, it already is three. And then we need to add one here. Add one here. I see it's trying to snap it to a line, which I don't really want. So we'll shrink this down now. Great. If I take all of this, all of that, and we can move it down a little bit more. Move it down a little bit more. That probably won't have that problem. Take this right there. There we go. Okay, so then you can save and close. And then if you want to upload this file, you can take a screenshot, um, which there's different ways you can do a screenshot of that. 
Um, you can upload a Google Doc of each one. Make sure there's only one uh, drawing per document, um, unless it's an assignment where you need to upload multiple ones, but for like a quiz or something, just make sure it's its own document. Okay, so now let's go and try the same thing on Desmos. So if you go to Desmos, um, click here at Math Tools, and you can click to Geometry Tool. I also have it linked in Canvas as well. Okay, so here we are. And the first thing we're gonna do is draw a line. So just click the line and you click two points. Now these points need to have labels. So if you click on the actual dot, don't forget to change to your select tool, click on the dot and then you can hit label and it will pop the label up there for you. So we can label both of those. Um, now the thing with Desmos versus um, a Google Doc is like, I can't put the arrows and stuff on there. I can't do the tick marks. Um, doing this little box is kind of tricky and I can't do the parallel lines. So there's a lot of detail that you don't get in Desmos. But with Desmos, I can click things and move them uh, like they would in geometry. Okay, so I need a parallel line to that one. So we're going to select the line, select more tools, and then you want parallel line. So we're going to choose this line and then if you come off of it, you can kind of see your line up there. So let's just click up here. I need to add a point onto that line as well. Uh, and we need to label these points. So this one label and you can click here and change that label. So we'll change this one to Y and then click here label and we'll change this one to X. Um, again, you don't have your parallel symbols on here, um, which is why I like the Google Doc um, better. So then the next thing we need to do is make a parallel or a perpendicular segment right here. Okay, so we're going to go to tools. We want a perpendicular. So we're going to choose the line and then we will choose A. Now I actually need Y to be on that intersection. So you can select it and just kind of move it to be on that line, okay? Now, I don't want that line, I just wanted the segment. So what you can do is you can click that line and you can hide it and then um, you can add a segment from there to there. Okay, um, and you could have done that different ways. Let me kind of back up and I'll show you maybe a better way to do that, um, to do all this. So let me delete some of this. Let's do the perpendicular line first. So we want perpendicular line to this through A. Okay, and now I can go do the parallel line. Let's do a parallel line here. Whoop, I clicked the wrong one. So undo. Okay, so I want a parallel line to this one and we'll put it right, see how that, that point snaps to that line? So we'll put it right here. And then we need to label that point. Label that point Y. And then we need to point out here and we'll label that point X. So different way you can get those things. Um, again, I don't want this line, so we'll click on that and we'll hide it. And then I will get my segment right there. Um, the next thing we need is that 90 degree angle. So we use this angle tab up here and we'll select Y, A, B, and it kind of walks you through how to do that over here. Now with this, sometimes it won't give you the square and that's okay as long as the angle measurement um, is there. The next thing we need to do is the congruent part. So in order to um, get the congruent, we can't put the tick mark there. So we actually want to look at the um, measurements 
So if we let's see, click the angle, usually we can add a measurement to a segment and then more tools. Maybe thought there was a measurement tool. Uh, GeoGebra has a measurement tool as well. But in this case, we could probably just get away with adding a segment here and, and hiding the points. So if I put a segment there and a segment there and a segment there, and then if we hide that point, just hide each point, we can get that. <coughs> and like I said, excuse me, <coughs> we can do a lot um, in here. And then this would be our picture that we would just take a screenshot of. Okay, so I encourage you to just like play around with some things like we could use that and maybe hide that point right there. Okay, and then there's your, there's array. Okay, um, that you can do whatever with. Okay, so I encourage you to get on this one or get on the Google Doc and just play around with um, how things are and, and where to do things. All right, if you got questions, please email me and ask or um, jump on the tutoring times for can on Canvas um, and ask questions. We'll see you in the next lesson.